Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Today, we have an intriguing topic to discuss. The frugal lifestyle and saving methods of Jewish people. Have you ever wondered why Jews seem to have a unique ability to save money and build wealth no matter where they live? Well, in this video, we'll explore the ancient wisdom that has helped them master the art of saving and living well. By the end of this video, you'll discover 5 Jewish money-saving secrets that can revolutionize your finances and happiness. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel and let's get started. Let's start by understanding the core reasons behind Jewish people's commitment to saving money. There are three main motivations. First, the principle of sadaka, a Hebrew word meaning charity and justice. It's not just about giving to the poor, it's about expressing gratitude to God for all that we have and using our resources wisely. Second, Jews save money to secure a good future for themselves and their families. This involves covering basic needs, preparing for retirement and emergencies, and leaving room for personal growth and enjoyment. Lastly, Saving money is a way to contribute to making the world a better place. Jews believe in supporting causes that promote peace, justice, human dignity, and environmental sustainability. Now that we understand why Jews save money, let's explore how we can apply their principles to our own lives. There are several ways to do this. You can read books by Jewish authors or about Jewish topics, watch videos featuring Jewish experts, attend seminars on Jewish principles, and seek mentors who understand Jewish wealth. To truly adopt the Jewish way of saving, we must also embrace the value of generosity. In the comments below, tell us what you think about sharing money with others and how you decide between needs and wants. Being generous and hospitable, whether to guests, friends, or strangers, fosters a sense of community and interconnectedness. By giving back, we not only support important causes, but also find fulfillment in making a positive impact. Now, let's delve into the first Jewish money-saving secret, a powerful money-saving technique called the Five Jar Method. Imagine a simple yet effective way to allocate your income for different purposes, all while having fun. This method is inspired by the Jewish approach and involves dividing your earnings into five categories – necessities, zadaka, savings, investments, and fun. Each jar serves a distinct purpose. The necessities jar covers essential needs like bills, groceries, and rent keeping you financially responsible. The Sadaka jar is your giving jar, a reminder to share your blessings with those in need, fostering gratitude and compassion. The savings jar helps you build an emergency fund or save for future goals, providing financial security. The investment jar allows your money to grow over time, creating passive income and a more secure future. Finally, the fun jar lets you enjoy life's pleasures guilt-free. Whether it's a hobby, travel, or treating yourself to something special, implementing the five-jar method is easy. As you receive income, allocate a percentage into each jar according to your goals. For instance, you might allocate 50% for necessities, 10% for zadaka. 10% for savings, 10% for investments, and 20% for fun. By following this method, you'll not only manage your money effectively, but also align your spending with your values and aspirations. Embracing the five-jar method not only promotes responsible financial management, but also cultivates a balanced and meaningful life. Much like the Jewish approach, this technique emphasizes gratitude, giving, and goal achievement. As you master money management, you'll find yourself empowered to achieve your dreams, honor your values, and live a life that's both financially secure and fulfilling. The second Jewish money-saving secret is wealth and investment. Are you intrigued by the concept of amassing wealth while leading a frugal life? That's where wealth and investment come into play. 
It's about harnessing your finances to generate even more money, ultimately leading to financial freedom. Yet, it's not just about dollars and cents. It's a journey of wisdom, humility, and responsible decision-making. We'll explore how Jewish people approach their investments and unveil the rules and tips they follow. So, what are the fundamental principles of Jewish investing? First and foremost, diversification takes center stage. This means spreading your investments across different avenues like stocks, bonds, real estate, gold, and even cryptocurrencies. By doing so, you're minimizing the risk of loss while maximizing the potential for gains. Another essential rule in the Jewish investment playbook is compound interest. This concept involves earning interest on your earnings, leading to exponential growth over time. Patience and discipline are your allies here, as the power of time allows your money to work its magic and multiply. Value investing is yet another cornerstone of Jewish financial wisdom. It entails purchasing investments that are undervalued compared to their true worth. This strategy allows you to buy low and sell high, reaping profits from the difference and avoiding overpayment for overvalued assets. Let's bring these principles to life with an illustrative example. Imagine you have $10,000 to invest, and you choose to follow the Jewish method using the 5-jar approach. By strategically allocating your funds for necessities, tzedakah, savings, investments, and fun, you set the stage for financial growth. Diversifying your investments across various categories and applying the principles of diversification compound interest, and value investing, you watch your wealth flourish over a decade. The third Jewish money-saving secret is Jewish debt management. Picture this, credit card debt, an alluring trap that can shackle you from realizing your dreams of financial independence. It's easy to fall into, but oh so challenging to escape. With high interest rates and fees, it can eat away at your hard-earned income and savings. Did you know that in 2023, the average American will owe around $5,910 in credit card debt? That's a staggering $700 more than the previous year. But fear not, we're about to equip you with the tools to escape this cycle. How do we end up in this debt spiral, and how can we climb out of it? It often starts with using credit cards for everyday expenses, unknowingly spending beyond our means. The solution lies in controlling debts. Imagine this, you have $10,000 in credit card debt with an 18% interest rate. By paying only the minimum, you could be trapped for nearly 8 years, paying a staggering $8,796 in interest alone. But with a little strategic control, paying $400 a month could have you debt-free in under 3 years, with just $2,784 in interest, a remarkable saving of $6,012. The power of debt control is transformative. Now, let's learn from the masters, the Jewish community. These savvy individuals have mastered the art of debt management and employ a secret weapon. They crush debts. How? They don't let debts control them. They make debts work for them. They pay off debts quickly, steer clear of new ones, and negotiate better terms. Their strategies are game changers. One effective technique is the snowball method, favored by Jewish people. They start by paying off the smallest debt swiftly and then tackle the next, building momentum along the way. This approach reduces interest and fees up cash flow. Moreover, Jewish individuals avoid taking in on unnecessary new debts, preferring to save for significant purchases or use cash. They also negotiate better deals, seeking lower interest rates, extended repayment periods, and fee waivers. Their bold approach saves money and lightens their debt load. For the next technique, picture this, a snowy mountain of debt. The Avalanche Method, a key tool in the Jewish financial toolkit, works like clearing snow from the top down. 
You focus on the highest interest debts first, no matter their balance. By attacking the most costly layers, you save big on interest and accelerate your journey to financial freedom. The Jewish community has expertly used this approach to eliminate debt and build a strong foundation of financial stability. Let's dive into a real-life example. Meet Rachel, burdened by multiple loans. Armed with the avalanche method, she paid off her student loan with a whopping 20% interest, then move on to the next. Within three years, she conquered all her debts and saved significantly on interest payments. The avalanche method's effectiveness lies in its focus on reducing high interest burdens, just like Rachel did. Now, let's explore the art of living below your income. It's a concept that sounds simple but requires discipline and prioritization. Jewish individuals have perfected this frugal approach. They distinguish needs from wants, avoid unnecessary expenses, and wisely invest their savings. This practice is a cornerstone of wealth building and financial security. Allow me to introduce Jacob, a teacher who lived well below his means. By saving 20% of his $50,000 annual income and wisely investing in diverse assets, Jacob amassed a staggering $2 million net worth over 30 years. His story demonstrates the remarkable power of consistently living below your income and investing wisely. Enjoying the video? Comment secret so I know you've reached this part. Ever wondered how the Jewish community has achieved success in various industries? Well, their knack for scoping and starting businesses plays a significant role. They're masters at identifying market needs, solving customer problems, and transforming ideas into valuable products or services. So, how can you channel this wisdom and create your own path to wealth? Let's find out. Step 1. Find a market need a customer problem and a potential solution. Why is this crucial? Identifying a gap allows you to offer a unique value proposition while understanding your target customer's desires, pain points, and needs helps create a product or a service that truly resonates. Step 2. Testing your idea with a small group of potential customers and gathering feedback. This step is your reality check. Does your concept have a market fit? Insights from your customers help refine your offering, making it even more appealing and effective. Avoiding wasted time and resources? Now that's smart! Step 3. Launching your product or service, be it online or offline, and connecting with your target audience. This is your moment to shine. By showcasing your value proposition and benefits, you're not just selling, you're building brand awareness and attracting a loyal customer base. As your business gains traction, it's time to generate revenue from various sources, ads, subscriptions, commissions, or sales. Collaborating with other businesses or individuals can further accelerate growth. Outsourcing tasks efficiently allows you to focus on improving your product or service, enhancing customer satisfaction and loyalty. Here's a golden nugget. Learning from failures and adapting to changing market conditions. It's okay to stumble. What matters is your resilience. Reinvesting profits strategically not only fuels your business but opens doors to other income-generating opportunities. Lastly, we're uncovering the fifth and final Jewish money-saving secret, traditional work, a cornerstone of the Jewish lifestyle. These industrious folks have mastered the art of excelling in occupations that align with their values, culture, and society's needs. Let's explore how their approach can guide us towards financial success. So, why opt for traditional work? For the Jewish community, it's about respecting religious and cultural values while meeting societal demands. They've found their stride in fields like law, medicine, and finance, ensuring they're not only earning well, but also contributing to their communities. Ever wondered why the Jewish people flourish in these roles? Education plays a key role. 
their thirst for knowledge and skills has fueled their success. This commitment to learning empowers them to excel in diverse professions, creating a path to financial stability. When it comes to work, the Jewish community embraces a strong work ethic infused with a desire to make a difference. By focusing on value creation and problem solving, they not only thrive in their careers but also contribute positively to the world around them. Traditional work isn't just a destination, it's a stepping stone. Jewish individuals leverage their expertise and experience to lay the groundwork for their entrepreneurial ventures. It's a journey that merges the best of both worlds. So, what can we learn from their approach? By embracing traditional work, you can align your values, skills, and ambitions. Education becomes your ally and a strong work ethic fuels your journey. As you gather experiences, you're better equipped to embark on your own entrepreneurial path. In conclusion, the enduring financial success and prosperity of the Jewish people throughout history have been driven by a frugal lifestyle and strategic saving methods rooted in fundamental principles. These principles encompass setting clear goals, adeptly managing finances, controlling debts, and embracing a lifestyle that aligns with one's income. The remarkable aspect is that these principles are universally applicable. You, too, can weave them into your life, paving the way for financial freedom, wealth accumulation, and a life brimming with abundance. The key ingredients include a growth-oriented mindset, a fervor for continuous learning and innovation, and the courage to tread the path of hard work and calculated risks. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Wealthway. We hope you found the tips and tricks shared here valuable for your financial journey. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to stay updated with our latest uploads. Feel free to ask any questions or share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time! Keep striving for success and remember, your wealth awaits.